Uh, Mr. Kramer. Thank you, Please. Chairman Denham, Ranking Member Brown, and the members of the, of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity uh, you've afforded me to participate in today's important hearing on rail safety. As a leading producer of many of our nation's staple commodities and the beneficiaries of the Amtrak's Empire Builder, the citizens of North Dakota have a particular interest in rail safety. While we have enjoyed a successful relationship for decades, really partnerships between our carriers, our shippers, and our communities, uh, the recent oil boom, as we all know, is providing some particular challenges. Challenges I don't think we could have imagined you know, five short years ago. The recent derailment of a, a, a agricultural products train that led to a derailment of a train full of Bakken crude oil that led to explosions near the city of Castleton, North Dakota, was a stark reminder of our new reality. Later this year, North Dakota is expected to exceed one million barrels of oil production per day, compared to fewer than 200,000 per day just five years ago. Prior to being elected to Congress, I spent about 10 years serving as an energy regulator on the North Dakota Public Service Commission, where we had jurisdiction over pipelines and, uh, to some degree, railroads and associated facilities that uh, move that Bakken crude to market. And like most utility regulatory bodies, the North Dakota PSC has its roots as a railroad regulatory agency. And having a front row seat at one of the world's hottest energy booms has been like watching a gold rush on a big screen TV. And it's technological advancements that have unlocked the oil from the rock, and that combined with the high demand and high prices really has the Bakken rocking, as we like to say, but it has our transportation infrastructure lagging. The lack of pipeline capacity and the regulatory lag that accompanies large-scale development leaves trucks and trains as the primary means of transporting Bakken crude to market. Well over 70% of the Bakken crude is transported by rail with projections that it'll be 90% in the near future. So the safe and efficient shipment of petroleum products is a legacy issue for North Dakota and for the United States. And as our rail, pipeline, and highway transportation infrastructure work to catch up to oil and gas production, it is important to remember no one in the supply chain benefits from accidents. A train derailment costs everybody. Property is damaged or lost, commerce is slowed, and public safety is compromised and confidence shaken. It ensures that stakeholders' interests are public rather than parochial. As our economy advances, some advocate slowing the growth. I believe it's vital that government keep pace with the economy, not control it by either regulatory delays or overreach. The agreement reached last week between the Department of Transportation and the American Association of Railroads is a good example of how government and industry can partner in safety. I've encouraged Secretary Fox and want to reiterate my strong support for the sharing of data gathered by the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration during operation classification with industry experts. We are all in this together, and trust among partners is critical if we're to be successful. I hope the DOT can build upon this example as industry and government move forward with the next generation tank cars and other safety regulations. Two years and counting is too long for industry and communities to, to wait while the federal bureaucracy sets rules for modifying and or replacing the DOT-111 tankers. Five years and counting for the president to approve the Keystone XL pipeline is embarrassingly long, and every day the, that line is not built exacerbates the problem. Mr. Chairman, time is of the essence. The trains run best when everyone pulls in the same direction. I sense goodwill on the part of all stakeholders, and I and my staff are willing to assist as we improve our energy transportation infrastructure. I thank you for the time. 